Hello, Gamer Nom is back. So for today's video, we're going to help this noob with the Dragon Fruit reach max level. But before that, you can show your support by using Star Cold Gamer Nom when purchasing your Robux. Where the Ector slam? Oh, there it is! Forward. There's your slam! There's the dunk! Okay guys, so are you ready to help this noob with the Dragon Fruit reach max level? So let's start. First off, we're gonna use the Heat Wave Beam, the first skill of the Dragon Fruit. You only need three hits to finish the bandits. The goal here is to reach level 10. Next grinding area is the Marine Fortress. Wait a minute! Yes, guys, this is a lot faster. You just need to lure the petty officers. Guys, don't hit them, okay? Go into this area and use your Z skill until you defeat them. I am going to show you the level in the Master Increase after you defeat four of them. For your base level, you will increase 19 times. Yeah. For the mastery, 28 times. I suggest you stay here until you reach level 55. Next up, the Pirate Village. You only need to defeat one mob here. The boss in this island, Bobby or Buggy the Clown. Guys, we have low HP to so make sure to dodge his skills just like that. Very easy and everything will be fine. We're gonna leave this area at level 75. Let's check our stats, melee 26, defense 26, 173 blocks votes. And by the way, we've already unlocked our dragon flight at mastery 75, there you go. Next island, the desert. Keep a quest, our target is the desert officers. You need to defeat 6, so I suggest defeat 4, oh that's just 3. And for the second set, defeat 2. Okay, so the goal here is to reach level 90. And after that, moving on, next island, the Frozen Village. Don't forget to buy the Enhancement, the Buso, and the Soru. I think we lack money, we're gonna buy it later. Now let's focus on grinding. We're gonna defeat the Snow Bandits, lure 5, use your Z skill, guys. Always use that wall to catch your enemies so that they won't go flying around. Again, the goal here is search level 105. Next up, the Yeti. Easiest way to defeat him is lure him, look for a high ground, and check your distance. This boss won't be able to hit you, check that out. Just wait for your cooldown, use your Z skill, and that's it. We are leaving this area at level 130. Next up, the Marine Fortress. We're back in this area. Stat check first, melee 70, defense 50, blocks fruits 270. Again, we're just gonna focus with the boss here, Vice Admiral. We only have one skill, so the best thing to do is Z skill, dodge. Z skill and dodge and that's it. Don't worry guys, when you reach level 200 plus in this area, you will unlock your new skill. The third skill, the Dragonic Claw. This is a high damage skill but you cannot use it with our wall strategies. So if you're gonna ask me, forget the wall strat, defeat your enemies with your high damage. Okay, next area 220, the prison. So we have three bosses here. First up is the Warden. Just create your distance, use your Z and X skill. There you go, and that's it. Very easy, guys. Your damage is really high. The range of this boss is really short. Next up, the Chief Warden. Guys, sometimes you might get hit if you use the Dragonic Claw. So make sure to dodge or dash after using it. Third boss is the Swan. You can unlock this quest at 240. There you go. Again, guys, we are not gonna use our wall strat here because if you use it, you will go inside the wall, okay, when you use the Dragonic Claw. So we're gonna leave here at 350, stat check, 180 melee, defense 140, blast fruit 730. Next island is the Magma Village. So here we're gonna defeat the Magma Admiral. Again, like what I always say, you only need to dodge one skill, and that skill is that one, and everything will be fine. The goal here is to reach level 425. Next area, the Underwater City. We're gonna focus with the Fishman Lord, so how do you defeat him? Just lure him here, look for a window of your choice, use your Z skills. Guys, I'm gonna show you why we didn't use our wall strategy. Check this out, if you use your X skill, you will go through the wall, okay? That's why we didn't use it with a Warden, Chief Warden in this one. Okay, so the goal here is to reach level 500, and after that, we're moving on to the Skylands. We're going step higher, there you go, we're gonna defeat the Whisper. The mini boss in the upper yard. There you go. So guys, just remember this area. He won't be able to hit you. Check that out, guys. Check his bazooka. So it's a free hit with your Z skill, and you can just defeat him using your X skill. Okay? So the goal here is to reach level 575. And after that, you can now move on. Our second to the last boss in this C, the Thunder God. So guys, again, remember how you defeated the Magma Admiral? That's it. 
Use your skills, dodge to the side, use your skills, dodge to the side until you reach level 675. Next up, the Fountain City, and I'm gonna show you how to defeat Cyborg the easiest way. Can we get serious now? So guys, you only need to remember this spot. See that? He cannot hit you. Remember this tree on your right side? There you go, use your Z skill. Check that out guys, every skill that he tries to hit you with, it won't matter. So it's very easy to defeat, just do this until you reach level 725. And by the way, we're gonna unlock our fourth skill here, the Fire Shower, I'm gonna show it to you. Go again, you're gonna leave this area at 725. Let's do some stat check 400 melee defense 390, blocks fruits 1388. Now off to the middle town, but before that, let's buy the slingshot and we're ready to go. Welcome to the second C. So let's just start grinding. First off, with the mercenaries, you're gonna use your slingshot to lure them, lure three. Do not forget to turn on your observation hockey, use your Z and C skill twice. To defeat them, okay? The goal here is to reach level 775. After that, we're gonna start defeating the Swan Pirates. Yes, guys, we skipped a quest, the Diamond Quest, because it's so far away and it's hard to defeat. So next up, the Swan Pirates, you need to lure 4. You need to use your Z and C skill twice again to defeat them. Our goal here is to reach level 850, and after that, you can start defeating this boss. Jeremy or Bellamy, 850 level boss. There you go. Strategy here. Just dodge to the side, dash to the side, every time you use your skills. That's how you do it. The goal here is to reach level 900, guys. Again, level 900. Stat check first. Melee, 530. Defense, 530. Blast fruits, 1640. Next island is the green zone. Guys, we're gonna start with the marine captains here. You need to defeat 9. Guys, make sure to lure them again without hitting them. Okay? Don't hit them. There you go. C and Z skill. Do this twice. You're gonna defeat them. Guys, you only need to level up 25 times here. So don't worry, it's kinda hard here, I know. But at 925, next up, Pogitora or Fajita. For this boss, it's hard to dodge to the side, so make sure to create distance every time you finish using your skills. Okay, you can also get the Gravity Cane here. There you go. The goal here is to reach level 1000. Okay, let's do some stat check. Melee is 560, defense 610, blast fruits 1830. Next up guys is the snow mountain. We're only gonna defeat the snow troopers here. Also, this is the area where you can unlock the superhuman. But guys, before that, we can now transform. At Mastery 350, level 1000, we can now transform into a dragon. There you go, finally. Your Z skill will increase the damage. X skill will increase the damage. Now AOE. Defense will increase. But guys, I won't be using this to level up, okay? Maybe in PvP and boss fights you can use this, but in grinding guys, mobs, I don't suggest this transformation, okay? So at level 1100, let's do some stat check first. Melee is 570, defense 620, blast fruits 2110. Next area, hot and cold. We're gonna start here with the lab subordinates. You can lure four at a time. Use your, again, Z and C skill, and that's it, okay? There you go, you're gonna need to do this twice to finish a quest. Goal here is level 1150, and after that, my favorite boss, the Smoke Admiral. Guys, he's so easy to defeat. Here's the boss, there you go. You can also get the GTA sword here. Anyway guys, listen, you're gonna level up here until you reach level 1250. We're gonna skip lots of quests from here, but guys, it's fine. Next area is the Cursed Ship. We're gonna start defeating the ship deckhands. So we're gonna lure four again. There you go, using your slingshot and defeat them, okay? You're gonna level up 50 times here. Again, 50 times until 1,300. Next up, the ship stewards. Just a reminder, this area is where you can get the gold rays, the gold mask, etc. So make sure to explore this area once you reach this place. So we're gonna leave this area at level 1,350. Let's do some stat check. Melee 660, defense 190, max block fruit. Next area, the ice castle. You're gonna start defeating the arctic warriors guys another 50 level ups so as you can see every 50 level up we're gonna change mobs so when you reach level 1400 you can start defeating the ice admiral guys in this area you can unlock the library key the hidden key guys you can all get those from this boss oh by the way you cannot transform in his palace but well, let's go back with the library key guys you can use it to open a door where you can unlock the death step here it is the library key so open this one, there you go. Next up guys, for the hidden key, you can use it to get the Sword Rengoku. 
So you're gonna leave this area at level 1475. As 25 levels is done in the Forgotten Island with the Tide Keeper. So based from my experience, it's so easy to defeat. As here you can use your transformation. There you go. Even with his seeking. As you can defeat both of them. There you go. And for those who don't know, you can get the key here to unlock the Sharkman Karate, okay? So at level 1,500, you will unlock the Coliseum quest, so make sure to do that. Head to the Coliseum, talk to the King Redhead, defeat Indra. Oh, no, no, no. Half HP only. Head to the Green Zone and look for the Mr. Captain. And, and once you talk to him, he will then send you to the third sea. Guys, final sea. But before we proceed, make sure like and subscribe okay guys so finally third c so if you're still watching thank you i really appreciate you so, so start it off with the pirate millionaires same strategy v and c skill there you go we're gonna level up 25 times here and after that we're going to start defeating the pistol billionaires guys same strategy again don't worry, after this, everything will be a lot faster. So, another 25 levels here. There you go. And after that, we can start defeating the boss in this island, Stone. Guys, you can get the pilot helmet with this boss. Also, the best strategy in the third sea is do server hop. So, we're gonna level up here until you reach level 1675. And after that, Hydra Island. We're gonna start with the Island Empress. Game room, is she easy to defeat? Yes guys, just do the wall strat, there you go. Use your Z and C skill and everything will be easy. Guys, again, the only problem with doing server up in the third C is there are lots of bounty hunters. So make sure to look out for them. You're gonna grind here until you reach level 1750. Stat check, melee 820, defense 2130, max black fruit. Next area is the great tree. So here we're gonna go straight with a Kilo Admiral, guys, the technique here is just stay airborne. This dude cannot hit you if you're in the air, okay? So that's it for the tip. We're gonna grind here until you reach level 1776. Next up, guys, Floating Turtle. First up, the Fishman Raiders. So you just need to lure four, defeat them, do this twice to finish a quest. After that, next set of mobs at level 1800. The Fishman Captains. You only need to level up 25 times here. They're easy to defeat. Don't worry, guys. Next up, the Forest Pirates. Guys, you're gonna level up here until you reach level 1900. But if you want, you can start defeating Captain Elephant. But again, just a reminder, there are lots of bounty hunters here. The spawn point is so near the boss. So there is a re really, really high chance that you will get attacked. Okay, so I have clips of that. I'm gonna show you. I'm telling you guys, if you're grinding a third C, you really need to be patient. But as long as you damage it, there's a high chance that you will get experience from it. We died from that C that, we still get experience. So again, at level 1900, next up, the Jungle Pirate. So these mobs are easy to defeat. You're just gonna lure 4 here, there you go, and Z and C skill. <laughs> Repetitive. To be honest, 25 levels will be done here. And after that, we're gonna move to the next set of mobs. The Musketeer Pirates. Guys, for those who don't know, you can unlock the Tushita Sword here. I made a video of that, so you can check it out if you want. You're gonna level up here until you reach level 1975. For the stats, you already have max defense and blast fruit, so it really depends to you and where you want to put the remaining stats. Next up, the Haunted Castle. Guys, we're only gonna defeat two mobs here. First, the Reborn Skeletons and the Living Skeletons. Why? Because for the other set of mobs, they have Devil Fruits. And once you get hit, especially those Dark Fruit users, you, they can burst you. Why well, wanna focus on the easier path? Well, guys, just a reminder, for those who want to unlock the Dragon Talon, this is the area to unlock it. Level 2075, Final Island, the Sea of Treats. So we're gonna start with the Peanut Scouts. Guys, believe me, in this island, whole island of sea treats, this mob is the easiest and the best mob to grind, okay? So guys, we're gonna grind here until you reach level, take note guys, level 2200. Why game or not? I'm gonna show it to you. Guys, the experience that you will get from this quest is 100 million. And the requirement when you reach level 2200 is 97 million. So guys, you can still grind with the peanut scouts until this level. But I decided to go to Katakori Island to defeat the Cookie Crafters. You're gonna need to defeat them 25 times only. But guys, if you wanna reach max level with this mob, it's fine because they're easy to lure and they're near the quest giver. 
So guys, at level 2,225, the Cake Guards, this is the last mob that I think you should grind with. They're near and they're easy to defeat, gives out lots of experience, and that's it. You're just gonna grind 75 more levels until you reach max level 2,300. So guys, I hope that you learned something and enjoyed watching this video. For recommendations and suggestions, just comment it on the comment section. To all the viewers, subscribers, supporters, I really appreciate you all. This is GamerNom, and GamerNom out!